Hello everyone, and uh, I wanted to uh, capture a short video on topic of uh, crypto mining using Apple M1 processor. Probably you heard that uh, the processor or the system uh, on the chip M1 is quite good in terms of performance, <coughs> mainly on CPU side, but uh, kind of on GPU side as well. So you are probably wondering, wondering as I did, uh, is it any good for uh, mining, for crypto mining? Well, first of all, uh, we need to understand that uh, there are different uh, cryptocurrencies and different ways uh, to mine them. Uh, of course, there is a famous Bitcoin, uh, also quite famous e Ethereum and other uh, cryptocurrencies as well. So if we're talking about Bitcoin, it is not uh, really profitable uh, to mine it on any CPU and on any GPU as well. Uh, it was, uh, it was uh, popular to mine it on CPU, I, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago, but it was a long time ago uh, uh, popular to mine it on CPU, but then GPU kind of took over because uh, the kind of um, computations needed are much more suitable for GPUs, but then uh, GPUs were uh, also not prof profitable either. So if we're talking about Ethereum, uh, for now GPUs are profitable, but uh, still it's kind of a hard thing to do to mine it with GPU and certainly uh, small and uh, very, uh, not, not very powerful um, M1 GPU is not suitable for Ethereum mining. Um, All of the mining um, kind of changed with the, with the game of ISICs. So there are some uh, specific uh, boards uh, created specifically for mining, where we can we kind of have optimized hardware to make uh, uh, necessary calculations to uh, perform mining. So. This is the only way to mine Bitcoin for now, uh, really, and even Ethereum also. It's uh, I believe it's much more profitable to mine it with uh, ASICs. So what I'm talking uh, about is that M1 is not really suitable to mine either Bitcoin or Ethereum. There are um, some cryptocurrencies uh, that were trying to fight ASICs, coming of ASICs, because they wanted people to mine uh, with uh, using their uh, usual hardware. And uh, the, I believe the best example of it is Monero. They introduced, um, well, they were uh, designed to be resistant to ASIC mining from the start. Uh, but uh, of course it's kind of hard thing to do uh, because ASICs uh, are also developing and they are trying to um, to, to conquer the, the whole uh, mining market but they introduced uh, RandomX uh, algorithm to mine in November of uh, 2019 and this algorithm uh, it has, uh, where, uh, first of all, it, it's almost impossible to, to mine using ASIC, as far as I know. And uh, another uh, thing is that it's not really uh, effective to use GPUs as well. So really, random X is only suited for CPUs. So... Um, Probably you understand where I'm going with it. So uh, if we're talking about ideal uh, 
uh, mining for M1 processor. This would probably be it because it's it's targeted only on CPU, which is the main um, point for uh, M1 uh, systems. <coughs> and also with this algorithm, you cannot uh, really mine with ASIC, which means that everyone is mining with CPUs and then you are um, in a good uh, market uh, to try to mine. So the next uh, um, topic is M1 performance for mining. And of course I chosen the Monero and uh, RandomX. There are some other RandomX uh, cryptocurrencies, but I think the, they are more or less the same. And Monero is quite a popular one. so. I think it's um, uh, it's it is more interesting here. So uh, first, let's look here. So here we have a program for mining Monero uh, running in the background. Of course, I did some um, other activities, so it's not uh, maximum uh, values now. But this is uh, some uh, performance metric. And it's called a hash rate. So we can see that this is, by the way, this is M1 Mac. <laughs> this is a Mac Mini with 8 gigabyte of RAM. It's uh, so 8 uh, CPU of, uh, cores and 8 GPU cores. <clears throat> so we are using only CPU and we are running this miner, which, by the way, is optimized for M1 processors, meaning it is uh, optimized for ARM. And for Apple specific technologies, maybe it's not the ideal miner, but it is uh, the best miner there is for M1 for sure. So these uh, numbers are as high as you will receive them, really. So we can see that the maximum, which will be like the usual if nothing else is running, so the maximum is 2300. Uh, Hash rate per hashes per second. So let's understand: is it is it a lot or not? So there is a a, a benchmark also exi exists um, existing for this uh, mining uh, thing, and we can see that of course some crazy concept CPUs <laughs> are getting uh, insane numbers. But uh, what we are interested in maybe some mainstream uh, CPUs, let's say uh, Ryzen 5 3600 uh, six core CPU. And we can see that, okay, probably this is, this is overclocked values, but still we can see that it is uh, at least three times more than, than this processor. So why is that? Uh, I think the short answer is uh, the kind of um, computations that are needed for mining, they are quite simple um, and easily scalable. So it means more multiple, um, multi-core performance you have, the better. And also this uh, CPU can be overclocked. So I'm, I'm pretty sure these are overclocked values. Maybe we could look uh, to some Intel uh, CPUs as well. Yeah, so let's look at um, i5 uh, 80. 8400. So we can see that it is kind of comparable, uh, but it is uh, still a little bit better than our M1. And uh, if we're looking at this uh, processor, uh, we can see that it is also six cores uh, processor. And it's not easily overclocked. So this is a kind of comparable uh, processor to our M1. 
and maybe with a little bit more optimization of my software we could uh, reach this value or even exceed it a bit but this is the current maximum view you can um, you can aim for so what I'm talking uh, what I'm trying to say is that uh, you will not reach levels of performance of uh, some like uh, 3950 X uh, pro uh, processor like this one Ryzen 9 5960X which is 16 cores and it gives you 20,000 so you will never reach this with M1 processor because uh, this processor has higher cores and all of the cores are let's say high performance cores so uh, multi-core performance is just much better and uh, because computations are kind of uh, simple ones they are not really they do not really require this high single core performance that M1 has and uh, the, the only thing you care is about multi-core performance this is why M1 is not really so good at, at, at mining as you would have thought and uh, maybe the next question is uh, is it profitable <clears throat> so I believe it's, uh, it's easy to calculate uh, this is uh, a pool for mining uh, the the biggest pool for mining uh, Monero and it can uh, help us to estimate profits so we can provide our value uh, our hash right here and it says that it is a one it's 0 0.001 XMR uh, per day so I think we are more interested in how many is it per year so let's calculate so we have our daily uh, uh, we have our hash rate uh, and let's just multiply it by the number of days in the year so this is hash rate multiplied so this is the value that we will receive uh, for year so not, not much we can also understand how much is it in uh, in dollars so the current XMR in dollars is 160 so let's calculate how much is it, is it in dollars and it's just 63 US dollars per year this is not a lot if we are looking into the cost of the cheapest M1 Mac it is uh, 700 dollars so this uh, 63 divided by 700 it is just 9% so 9% per year is the maximum um, at least with the current uh, minor software that you can expect from this from this M1 uh, maybe it will be a little bit better like uh, not $63 but uh, $83 if, if you optimize the software or if someone optimizes the software a little bit more but I, I doubt that probably this is around the maximum of what you, what you get so from my point of view from my perspective uh, it's not profitable uh, to mine um, uh, cryptocurrency with M1 maybe the only thing you could do is just if you already have M1 Mac and you're not using it most of the time you can run it in the background and you can see that it will uh, scales down uh, if you are using the Mac so it will not really influence your performance and this Mac is, never gets hot it doesn't consume a lot of electricity and you cannot hear it really it's it only silent so why not you, you could uh, mind uh, in the background and some uh, $63 per year you, you will get out of it uh, just just per change let's say but uh, generally speaking it's not profitable it is much more profitable to mine on CPU like 
uh, 3950X or uh, 3600 uh, Ryzen if you overclock it uh, and this one is is, a, is quite cheap one so it's, it's, a, it's a good um, it's a good opportunity uh, so that's it uh, leave a like if you liked it and uh, leave a comment uh, below uh, on what do you think about mining on M1